Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. <clears throat> I've got a testimony to read. I want you to hear this. Greetings from the UK. I just wanted to share with everyone who needs to hear it that I am a living testimony of who God is. God also called me 17 years ago when I was dabbling in the occult, going to tarot card readers, mediums, warlocks, and witches, and playing with tarot cards and runes, unwittingly and unknowingly opening up spiritual doors. I was also doing the things of this world, i.e. fornicating, getting drunk, partying hard, and thinking my life was in order. Only for God Almighty, my deliverer, the one in whom I did not even believe, to call me a nobody. Me a nobody. And reveal to me that my life was totally out of order. He revealed who he is to me. <clears throat> and I thank God for those days of him breaking and remolding me. Because had it not been for him, I would not be here today. Hmm. I was not brought up as a Christian. In fact, my father practiced the arts of Freemasonry, which is also linked with the KKK, another demonic cult. Nor did I have any interest in any type of religion or worship of any, of any God except myself? <laughs> he has taken me from a mighty long way. I vividly remember being tormented every night and day for months upon months by demonic forces. Several months after joining a local church, I remember being so terrified one night and was not able to go to sleep as I could hear and feel evil all around me. I called my pastor for prayer, and before the prayer had even ended, I could feel angels fanning me with so much peace, and I could sense a feeling as if God himself was wrapping me in his arms. However, I still did not submit to Christ. Even then, as the devil had such a hold on me. When I finally did make up my mind and submitted to Christ nearly nine months later, I was delivered from the occult and started ministering to others in similar situations. That said, it has been a very long battle. I am glad to say that my dad is now fighting his own battle and has decided to follow Jesus along with other members of my family. I can also testify to what this woman says about demons entering animals. I recall going to visit my mom in the hospital with my daughter. He passed, we passed some drug addicts who asked for the time, but I sensed they wanted more than that, so I told them we didn't have the time and we carried on walking. The next thing we knew, the drug addicts had set their two pit bulls after us. It was so weird because I felt a blanket of peace cover me, and I just kept calling on Jesus. The dogs ran past us as if they could not see us, and then they just ran back to their owners. <laughs> Thank God for his covering and for all the miracles he has done in my life. He is great. Thank you so much for sharing that. This is Pat's Two Cents. Thank you so much for sharing that testimony. I wanted to read that. I had set it aside in my notes section so I would never forget. And I knew I would come across it if I did, which I do tonight. So I thank you for sharing that. See, a lot of you people, a lot of you born-again Christians, don't know you can stop a dog from attacking you because demons jump into animals. And of course, they jump into animals to hurt a person. But if the person has Jesus in their heart, filled with the Holy Spirit, you have the authority in the, to use the name of Jesus. And when you usurp that authority, 
every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord. Even a dog who was filled with demons, those demons in that dog and the dog must comply. They recognize the name of Jesus and you will either disappear right before their eyes. They will no longer see you or they will walk past you because they forgot what they were going to do in the first place because the assignment has been canceled against you. That assignment against you has been canceled because you thought you were in, your, in the presence of mind to use the name of Jesus as a weapon, as a cloak, as a dagger. And the name of Jesus will protect you. The name of Jesus will save your life. The name of Jesus will cancel every assignment of the enemy against you. God bless you. Learn to use his name. Remember this sentence. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Here's another. I bind you in the name of Jesus. They work. They work. Trust me when I say they work. God bless you.